All right, hello, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Okay, that fan is distracting. Before we start this little chat situation we have going on, I just got the new Starbucks um, guava passion fruit drink, so I wanted to try it for you. Oh, oh my god, that's really good. Okay, that's really good. Pause the video, go get one. We can drink one together while we chat about life. Basically, I've just been vlogging a lot and I feel like we haven't just sat down and kind of had a chat. So I really wanted to do that in today's video. By the way, let's address like a few elephants in the room. One, I know I burned my eyebrow. We are working through it. I promise there's not any makeup on my burn. I have put makeup all over my face except for this one little corner of my eyebrow. Filled in my eyebrows halfway over. Everything is good, trust me. But yeah, I'm treating it as necessary promise because i don't want any scarring just wanted to make one of these videos this is like a you can totally multitask during this video just like put me on speaker or whatever i'm gonna chat with you guys it's kind of like gonna be like a podcast but in video form so basically i wanted to just have a sit down chat from like february until now and i don't know just kind of like things that i've learned throughout quarantine and like covid and things that have completely changed in my routine, in my life, in my like mental health, just like things like that, that I want to bring with me when quarantine is like completely done and we can go about things the way they used to be, go to restaurants, go to the gym, go out and about, hang out with friends, like when the world's safe again. These are like things that I have adapted into my routine, just kind of like new things all the way around that I'm like, I don't want to live my life the way I used to anymore and I really want to do things and go about life this way now. And then clearly every single goal and like resolution I made for 2020 is out of the window so I made a few new ones but not too many because like I don't think it's very smart to make a whole list of new goals especially when we still are unsure of the way things are still going to be like happening throughout the rest of the year but it's just mainly like a sit down chat of like new ways I want to live my life. I'm just hoping this motivates you or inspires you or like you resonate with any part of this throughout the video so we're just gonna get into this little chat. I wrote some notes on my phone but new habits that I'm bringing with me out of quarantine first one is like the chillness this is super basic by the way but the chillness and the creativity of instagram i have loved during quarantine and i'm going to continue to transfer that like once quarantine's over and people can go out because before that i was like i have to go outside i have to take an outfit picture it has to be in like the shaded light everything has to be perfect it's literally like feel psycho about it it's just not it i've completely adapted the mantra of like post whatever makes you happy post on your story whatever makes you happy post on your feed whatever makes you happy literally like don't post to impress anyone because it's literally pointless and i guarantee you no one's like oh my gosh what are they posting today or what are they doing today also if there's a black spot on the screen colin and i literally can't figure it out so we think our lens is scratched or something but i there's literally nothing i can do about it so i'm really sorry but anyway um yeah it's just like having a whole new lax perspective of instagram and like noting that like yes i do get paid for posts that i post sometimes but in reality it's like a creative outlet for me and my creativity and my style and who i am as a person and you should never be posting anything that you're like oh like i'm gonna get so many likes when i post this like that is well that's never really been my like mindset but it's not like about the likes and it's not about who follows you and it's not about what trend is going on it's literally just posting like you don't have to keep up with the trends you literally simply just need to post like what makes you happy and by doing that literally this whole entire quarantine i have been one like so into instagram like just because it's a creative outlet and i love following other girls who inspire me and it's just like such a fun like thing to do is like take creative pictures and it's not like a competition or anything like i love the follow fridays when people shout people out of who they're following because then you get to follow new creative people and it's just really fun and it's also motivating because i see other people being creative and doing things that they love and that makes me want to be creative and post things i love and take shoots of things that i love because i love taking pictures and i love editing pictures and things like that so it's mainly just having like a very lax mindset like it doesn't have to be perfect your stories don't have to be perfect you don't have to be wearing makeup all the time which is obvious but i'm just saying like instagram is not for perfection and it's just being consistent i think and just every single day posting things that relate to you and your 
morals and your beliefs and your creativity and who you truly are as a person so let just no one should ever tell you what to post on your instagram by the way it's your instagram so you post whatever makes you happy kind of like the first thing that quarantine really made me realize was it is okay to be like super chill on instagram and just like post whatever non-stressful it's literally an app in your phone that's all so like have fun with it don't make it a competition don't like compare yourself to other people because you're not that person you will never be that person you don't even want to be that person why would you want to be somebody else why wouldn't you want to be your own true self and your own authentic self you know so yeah i think once you switch up your mindset on instagram it's a lot easier to go on there and it also you have to control who you follow for sure because if you're following people who do make you feel like bad about yourself don't follow them or just like mute them or something if you don't want to hit unfollow i have muted so many people and i don't even feel bad about it but i just like always want to follow people who like add to my creativity add to my positivity my happiness and all that stuff and who are real and authentic and tell it how it is like i just like those kind of people so that's who i follow no shame in the game okay Speaking of a relaxed vibe, my whole mornings have shifted. Earlier, it was like, okay, wake up, do this, do that, get, don't get on your phone, do this. It was like so structured, it was like fast paced. It was not like, oh, I have so much time to like do me and like have me time. It was like, do this, do that, get to the gym, get home, get to work. It was like, boom, 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 boom. So rushed, so not how I wanted self care, okay? And if I got off the schedule, I was pissed because I was like, I'm gonna be like behind on my work or something. I'm like so go, 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 which I know Aries are very go, go, go like oriented people and they're very like, like to be productive and like to do all this stuff. But honestly, mornings are so, so important. I cannot reach it enough. Throughout quarantine, I would get up, give myself enough time to like get ready, have my me time, do all this. I was never rushed. I kind of had the mindset of, I mean, if we get here late, we get here late. And I honestly feel like it's changed me so much as a person because now I'm just like really chill in the morning, chill in the day, like give myself enough time. I have self-cared to the max during quarantine and I want to transition that out of quarantine because like what's the rush? You'll have such a better day if you just take your time in the morning and like have that time to yourself. I still recommend not getting on your phone right away in the morning because you could seriously improve your mental health so much if you just have that time to yourself in the morning and journal or do yoga, which I'm about to talk about in a second, or just kind of like sit there and have time to yourself and like really get in tune with yourself. Like I feel like I've become so much more self-aware because of quarantine. I'm like, okay, this makes me feel really happy. This doesn't. And before I couldn't even like get in tune with my own self because I was moving so fast. I felt like my brain could never shut off and I never had the time to just sit there and realize what was truly making me happy, what truly wasn't, what I really needed to be doing for myself, for my relationships, all of that stuff. So just kind of like, having a more relaxed time in the morning and even in the afternoon just like taking 30 minutes to just like recenter yourself and be like okay like i'm present in the moment it's mainly about becoming more present in the moment um which is what i realized i really truly needed so you don't always have to be go 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 and it takes finding out what makes you happy to actually contribute to your own happiness like you can say yeah this makes me happy but does it like you know you have to really be in tune with yourself which I'm just honestly glad that I had the opportunity to slow down and realize all these things I was doing wrong were negatively contributing to my mental health and recorrect them and now I feel so much better do I have bad days sometimes yes but that is okay because you can't have perfect days all the time being like a true optimistic person is knowing that like yeah you're gonna have bad days but you can still find the good in those bad days so just saying you always see the light that is like a true optimist so after quarantine i know i'm gonna like go back to the gym and stuff but basically allowing myself to have more time in the morning and if that means like i still wake up early i'll schedule a workout later or i'll do this later and know that like it's okay and i want to have a relaxed morning and i want to have that time with myself and then have more time throughout the day to like work hard and put my mindset in that area instead of being scatterbrained and like go 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 from the moment i wake up that leads to exhaustion and i was just tired mentally physically my body was just like aching my body needed a huge break and so I never want to experience like that much like stress and anxiety again because I was seriously always being like I have to work I have to do this I have to do that like I have to be productive and all this stuff and it was like at an extreme level and I was an extreme perfectionist hardcore I'm like a recovering perfectionist I feel like I'm really trying to teach myself that 
perfectionism isn't everything consistency is really important and being proud of yourself is very very important and it takes like you could do something and still be proud of yourself but know that like you want to do this differently next time you're like okay that's great i experienced this i did that i'm proud but next time i, I want to do this you don't have to like tear yourself down and be like oh, i wish i wouldn't have done that like why did i do that you can just be like wow i'm proud of what i did this time around next time let's try this out instead you know it's all about how you talk to yourself and your mindset and all that kind of correlates to applying less pressure to yourself and putting less on your to-do list i used to like jam pack my to-do lists full still on days when i like don't have that much to do i'll put stupid things on there like get up brush my teeth shower and get ready like things like that just so i can feel like i'm checking stuff off because i do like the feeling of being productive but it's like the big tasks like i would seriously put like film a sponsored video take a sponsored post do sponsored stories from another video and I was like thinking I was gonna get that done in all one day and that was just not realistic so um, throughout quarantine I've just been really realistic with my to-do lists and that's something I definitely want to transition out of quarantine um, maybe kind of keep it to like five like things a day like maybe two big things a day but just being like very 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 realistic and not stressing myself out not putting pressure on myself and not giving myself anxiety and plus we all know Colin and I are getting married in February and anxiety leads to stress and stress leads to breakouts and I want perfect skin so I'm just really trying to like be forgiving with myself and just like be in tune with my own emotions a lot. The next thing that I've really gotten control of in quarantine is finding at least one thing to be happy about every single day and that's something that I want to transition into when the world starts again is if something bad happens because something always bad happens like the world isn't perfect you're not perfect things don't always go the way you want them to is to just still focus each day on being happy I struggle with destination addiction which if you're new to my channel you wouldn't know but if you've been around i've mentioned it a couple times before but basically destination addiction is when you're like i will be happy when this happens so a good example for me right now is um, I've been, lately been falling into the mindset of saying I'll be happy again once the gyms open up and that is not it and that is not going to make me happy and I mean I'm sure I'll be happy when the gyms open but you need to find reasons to be happy every single day or you could be like I'll be happy once I get this job but it's not like chances of you being happy when you get that job aren't even going to happen because then you're just going to be focused on the next thing. So it's like once you accomplish something, you're always looking forward to the next thing and you don't even take the time to celebrate that one thing. And so that's why it's so important to be happy every single day rather than like something that will make you happy in the future because you'll never truly be happy unless you're in that moment every single day happy about something. So it's mainly just like less planning, which is really hard for people like me who plan their whole life out. And I know that things will not go as planned, clearly, because earlier this year, I was like, Colin and I are going to move into a house, and that is not happening in November, and we are not moving to Nashville. Because, you know, COVID happened, and things changed, and that shifted our whole mindset. Now we're like, okay, let's move into, like, the least expensive place as possible. It could be small. We really don't care. We just really want to save money and travel. Like, we completely shifted our mindset. If you're a YouTuber and watching this, sit down, chit chat videos literally get you so out of breath for some reason. Quarantine has really taught me to be happy every single day because I've had nothing to look forward to because the world literally paused and I've been so much happier as a person. I treat the people around me so much better when I'm happier that way and it's just not fair to yourself to always say like, oh, this in the future will make me happy and then no well th now that will make me happy because then you're always striving for something that will make you happy and how are you truly happy in the moment when you're telling yourself in your mind that something that'll happen in the future is what's going to control your happiness you just can't do it so destination addiction is very bad it is very easy to have high anxiety get really stressed out and just be very depressed when you have destination addiction or when you're experiencing it and i totally recommend just not setting a goal that will make you happy in the future set a goal every single day to be happy in the moment and be present the main theme of this video is to be in tune with yourself in the moment every single day and be present with your feelings and emotions because your life will change next thing i'm transitioning into our routine is morning yoga do i do yoga every single morning no unrealistic frankly sometimes i just get burned out on things easily i always like to like switch things up change out my routines stuff like that so doing yoga every single morning is just like 
gonna get boring to me so my goal is to do it twice a week and I always deep stretch after my workouts um so the morning yoga is mainly just for like part of my morning routine and if I don't do yoga I still have like my morning time but Connor and I were not doing yoga before quarantine and then it started yoga during quarantine and it has been life-changing I am so much more flexible you really just like tune out everything else and you're just thinking about yourself in the moment with your yoga I always do a video of like yoga on the tv sometimes I leave my own flow if I'm like wow my hips are really tight and I really like need to stretch this out but for the most part I'm doing yoga with Adrian. um I just she just comes right up on our smart tv so that's been really nice but that's something I definitely want to take with me out of quarantine is to continue to do the yoga twice a week I can even like wake up do it and then go to an orange theory class like I just see really good things and I don't think we'll ever join a yoga studio since we've figured out it's like super easy to do it on our tv got my super cute lululemon yoga mat like things are great and I like yoga a lot because the instructor usually says something like set an intention for your day or release like all of the bad things and like deep breath and like when you except when you exhale you're pushing out all the bad and things like that and that just like really helps you mentally so if you're not doing yoga at least like two to three times a week I'm gonna say that my goal is to do it two to three times a week but definitely definitely recommend okay also this is <laughs> super, like I'm actually serious when I say this something else that I've learned in quarantine is that I really like to be home and I really don't mind it besides like you know I would like the gyms to be open but like what are you gonna do so I've learned that my new desired career path is to be a stay-at-home mom with our kids and two golden retrievers so I'm not kidding I will like work and do my grind and I still want to like have my own little thing but I definitely want to be able to work from home so um yeah that just sounds like the life after having my little sister be born during quarantine by the way um and just like holding her and realizing how much I love her and I like can never take my eyes off her it just makes me think that one day when Colin and I have kids I want to be there I want to be around them all the time and I just want to like give them the best life so I've realized in quarantine I want to be a stay-at-home mom with golden retrievers and that might change one day like when my career like kicks off or whatever but right now I'm totally okay with working from home spending time with our children and our dogs that sounds amazing so I hope Colin really takes off with his career so I can do that because I've told him so many times that that's what I want to do and he totally agrees so I have set some new goals for the rest of 2020 they aren't anything extreme at all by all means but I'm proud of them and I like my goals so I'm gonna tell them to you guys so the first goal is just to have the best time wedding planning I want it to be fun I want it to be seamless I don't want to be a bridezilla at all the day of my wedding I want to be like super happy and not stress out about anything like if something goes wrong I don't want to know about it I like want everything to just be go with the flow and all that stuff so my goal is to just have a happy fun like a super exciting wedding planning process now that we have the venue the date and all that fun stuff and yeah it's like 200 something days away so that's exciting my next goal like work related is just to keep posting content that I love keep pumping out videos keep pumping out Instagram content like more fashion stuff more workouts more health related I'm gonna start my shredding for the wedding series because my wedding dress comes in in August and then I'll have my first fitting and I want to be like a fit warrior like my, that is my goal is to be a fit warrior okay if you've seen the 100 I'm obsessed with Octavia and I literally want to be Octavia so um, yeah, I want to just be like super in shape by the time I have my first dress fitting So that's and then like maintain that from there. Hopefully. So, um, that's my goal. So Anyway, just keep pumping out the fun content keep being inspired Don't get mad at myself if I'm feeling like a lack of my creativity because I'm sure it'll come around Just be like super forgiving But also I'm super excited for all the fun things coming and I mean there could be like so many more curveballs that get thrown at us in 2020 But we can handle it, you know, so I'm just excited for like all the fun content to come the engagement pics vlogs the trip that we're going on in like August to the wedding venue because now we push it back to August just to like give them time to open and stuff I'm just like really excited just I feel like a whole new wave of inspiration so you know it's like a good time okay another goal 
is just to find one positive thing that happened each and every single day so like something bad can happen to you one day but if you're in the mindset of like yeah that happened but you know what this happened and that's amazing so it's a good day like that is a great mindset to have for positive mental health if you focus on the good thing that happened throughout the day experience the bad throw it out just be like mm, that sucks that, that happened we don't need to talk about that anymore though let's just like put it behind us and just keep focusing on that one good thing that happened i promise promise you you will be so much happier as a person you have to harness all your energy and all your focus into the good things because like it, clearly this is like so simple but sometimes it's just a good reminder to have if you're focusing all your energy onto whatever negative happened in your life you can't tell me you're going to be in a good mood and you can't tell me that you're going to like turn around and be happy right away and that just leads to anxiety but one tip i do have if you do have anxiety because like i think i definitely do i like haven't been diagnosed but sometimes i just get like, like a lot of just sometimes i just have a lot of pressure like right here in my head and it just hurts really bad and i feel so overwhelmed so and whenever that happens i come into my room our room excuse me and i lay flat down on my stomach literally like with my head down and breathe in and out really deeply for like five minutes and then i stand up and i literally feel like a whole new human so if you struggle with anxiety i totally recommend you have to be like belly down and just like lay there pretend like your body's jello and you like you have no weight and you're just like light as feather and you just like deep breaths in through your nose out through your mouth and then I literally feel so much better. So give that a go. But if you can, just try and make it a priority every single day to focus on the good. And you can even write down that one good thing. If you struggle with like creating habits, I recommend for like 30 days, write down one positive thing that happened every single day and you'll see a shift. My last goal is just to live as stress-free as possible. I know a lot of stressful things have happened lately with COVID, with like just the world in general i feel like it's thing after thing after thing that just keeps getting thrown at us it's all about how you react to situations and have i reacted the best to every single situation no but i have tried and if i haven't i've realized what i could have done instead and i've learned from it so your attitude and your like mental state and how you react to things is all up to you no one else is gonna do anything for you okay if you want to be happy you have to be happy it's like no one else is gonna make you happy you make yourself happy no one else is gonna make you confident you gain your own confidence you know what i'm saying so to live as stress-free as possible i'm gonna try and just have a good attitude about everything i'm going to try to have the best reaction i can possibly have to every situation and just kind of like be chill and take things as they come maybe like sit and process it for a second and then choose the high road that's my goal that's pretty much all i have to talk about for the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you want me to do more videos like this definitely let me know below but i have like a whole list of brand new video ideas i just came up with like yesterday so yeah, I'm pretty excited about it, but I hope you guys are having a really good Sunday. Make sure you are following me on Instagram because every single morning, Monday through Friday, I drop like a little note of morning positivity. It's like a motivational quote. Then we get on with our day and it's like super fun over there. So definitely make sure you're following if you're not already. If you want to keep up with the constant positivity, subscribe if you're new here and I will see you guys in my next video.